Yes. Wow, that's worth 500 creds. Bunch of droid stuff. But I don't want to sell any of this until I put it on a droid. Too bad, you got some good stuff there. Anyway. I wasn't really ready. I don't want to go back to the ship just to get the guy's spice yet. Maybe I'll do it later. Maybe if I feel like coming back. I'm not sure. Alright, I always remembered there is shit here. But you couldn't take. One computer spike. Okay. How about this side? Yes, this side. And a repair kit. Okay, fair enough. Now he's gonna be like, oh, you have to impress me to get in. Blah, blah, blah. And you know what I'm gonna say? Fuck are you, bitch. 2453. The Leviathan. Damn that ship to hell. No. I was Lord of the Sith. Let me in. I see. And who might your friends be? But I really am Darth Vader. On Revan. your way, citizen. Damn it. You are neither... I see. On your way. What if I can actually persuade him? I see. No, I doubt it. On your way. We'll say how do I become a Sith. You must be admitted to the Academy. That decision must be made by a Sith who has already been accepted here. The final decision, however, remains with Master Yuthura. I believe she is currently at the Cantina if you wish to seek her out. Now go. I was just there. Please. Don't. You'll get your turn soon enough, fool. And when you do, I will be there. Laughing as you collapse from heat exhaustion and Meikle's beatings. Why are you doing it then? I just sounded attention. Please don't distract me. What are you doing? Trying to prove my worth and at the Sith Academy. Here we were told that we stood here long enough we would be worthy. Seems like not much to do to be worthy of anything. How long you been up to it, boy? Been here for so many days. I'm so hungry. Some of, some of us had died, but I must be strong. I must. We'll put you after this. Me kill. He's the Sith. The one who's watching us from over there. He said this was how we could prove our worth. That's bullshit. Where is he? Fucking ass. Who are you? Is there something specific? Are you Mechal? Ma if I am. You have something about those men. They're dying. That is the whole point. Personally, I think it's wonderful fun. Those fools actually think that if they stand there long enough, I'll let them become a Sith. Idiots. A Sith is not a bantha, all endurance and no brains. A Sith would fight for his life, no matter the odds. If these rot grubs are as stupid as they seem, then they deserve their fate. So this isn't a real test for them. Oh, it's a test, all right. It's a test to see if they're actually fool enough to die. If they don't, however, I certainly wouldn't admit them just for that accomplishment. Oh, what a sweet guy. He should get the Sith Congeniality Medal. Why not just shoot them where they stand? It would at least be more direct. Hmm. It is a bit boring standing out here all day, however. I think I'll go for some dinner. It will be fun to think of them while I gorge myself. They'll still be here in an hour or two, surely. I suggest you run along before I decide to make you part of the fun. Who the hell do you think you are? You know, I'm talking to these guys again. The Sith aren't for you. No, God, my pers how is my persuade not high enough yet? Come on, I gotta talk to somebody. You talk to Meckle? No, 
damn it! These guys are so stupid. There, he just died. Idiot. Leave, leave me just, just a few hours longer. Oh my God, you guys are a loss. Sometimes you gotta be a little more aggressive with them. I would have been like, you dumbass, he's just fucking with you. If anything, I would go punch him in the face. That would at least impress them. You know what I mean? Knock him on his ass. Like, what is he? An asshole? Yes. Plain and simple. Yes, that is the correct answer. Anyway, she's in the cantina, apparently. Where is this bitch? I think she's in the back. Is there something you need, Jedi? Make it good for I have little patience. Why did you call me Jedi? You think me a fool? You think I do not recognize a lightsaber when I see it? You are far from the first Jedi who has come here after all. Just decapitate her right now. Abandon that decrepit order of yours. Who are you? Who am I? You must not have been in Korriban for very long. Either that or you have been feeling your way about blindly. Luckily for you, I am in a charitable mood. I am your Thuraban, second only to Master Uthar of the Sith Academy here in Dresde. I am the one who decides which of the few of the many hopefuls who travel here to train actually become a Sith. Why? Is it your desire to enter to the Academy? Is that why you are here? Maybe I haven't given it much thought. Yet here you are in Little Korriban just by accident. I find it hard to believe. If it amuses you, however, I'll play along. We wield ultimate power, my friend. To be a Sith is to taste freedom and to know victory. Nothing is as glorious as bending the Force to your will. A lot of hopefuls end up. That doesn't seem glorious. We make no apologies for the weak. If you cannot clench your fist and know when the moment comes to strike. There is no place for you amongst us. Of those who come to train, those who are weak return home. If they are both weak and foolish, they die. But it was their choice to come. What about the Jedi? Hidebound relics who burden themselves with tradition and with the protection of the weak and ungrateful. They are pitiful and misguided. Why would you take a gift as glorious as the Force and squander it? Weaken yourself deliberately and shackle yourself to outdated mores. Our gift has made us superior. It is our rightful place to rule. How can any deny that? Yet the Jedi do so, and call us evil because we do not. You don't consider yourself evil? Is the Sarkath beast who dominates his jungle evil? The Tukata who leaps on the squell bug for the kill? These are things of nature, of the universe. We are no different from this. The Force is part of the universe, part of the same <coughs> laws. We were gifted to set us above the rest. To deny nature is foolish. Uh. But you serve the dark side of the Force, don't you? It is the Jedi who serve the Force, trying to discern its wishes like frightened old men staring at the stars. The Force serves us. No, it doesn't. We shape it to our will. We are its master. The Jedi deny their darkness, but we revel in it. We allow it to fuel our strength. It corrupts. Corruption is a word the pitiful use to describe the natural longing for power that they deny. Evil is a word trumpeted by the weak to ease their heart. It is true that the Force exacts a physical toll on some, but not a single one of them has ever regretted it. Anything else you hear is propaganda. And where does Darth Malak fit into all this? You know the name. Malak is the strongest of us, and the strongest always rules. At least until one who is stronger can take it from him. That is our way. Survival of the fittest. You are always on guard, always lean for the kill. We promote it, for through this, the Sith are stronger. You kill each other. If the Sith is proven to be weak, and if the time is right, the Force rewards the cunning and the mighty. Step up to the challenge if you dare, or turn tail and run. <sighs> No. 
I see, about joining You've her. heard enough, have you? <laughs> so what is it to be? Are you here to be a Sith or not? Ah, so you are just another hopeful after all. Or are you? I'm lying to her. I don't really want to be a Sith. You that I cannot place. Obviously, you are a Jedi. One who is very strong in the Force, it seems. So, were you a part of the Order for very long? Did they train you? What difference does it Perhaps make? Perhaps none. Perhaps all, all the difference in the world. Either way, you possess enough raw power to intrigue me greatly. With that kind of power, you could become a great Sith. Perhaps, if I let you. Does that interest you? Is there a lie? Yes, it does. I see. Some... No, my friend. But otherwise. All for crying out loud, dude. You again. But I have already... Shit! You again. But I have already told you your answer. Ah. She's not convinced. She didn't mention that if one of the other Sith accepted you and gave you a medallion. Okay. Who the hell can accept me? What do you want? Who are you? I'm trying to get into the Sith Academy. Why would you want to get in the Academy? Well, that's the only way to become a Sith, isn't it? In the Academy, you learn to use the Force. Why not join the Jedi? After the Sith conquer the galaxy, there aren't going to be any more Jedi, are there? I guess I'd rather join the winning side. Well, uh, what do you think your chances are? I thought they were good, but I've been here for days now, and I haven't drawn any attention at all. Just... I suppose that might be good. I don't know. Some of the attention the Sith have shown to other hopefuls has been pretty deadly. I'll be on my way. All right. Goodbye. Anyway. I want a medallion. Oh, fuck me. Hey, what's this? Looks like we found ourselves a bit of sport, my friends. This is good. I want to celebrate my acceptance into the Academy. All right, I take it from them. Me too. So how about it, chump? Ready to die? I'm eager to blow off some steam after those tests. I don't want to pick a fight here. But we do. Isn't it obvious? But if you keep pushing me... Are you trying... I'm trying to be reasonable, but if you keep pushing me, you'll regret it. I'm all for that. Come on! Oh, fine. You idiots. Get on your ass. Oh, whatever. He gave me a headache. Down you go! Anytime you're ready to get take that Tylenol, I'll be here. Come on, bitch! Get on your ass, bitch. Now give me your medallion. See, I got it. <laughs> wow, they were totally strong. My ass is sore from that fight. Because they really kicked it for sure. Yes. Uh-huh. Anyway, she's like, wow, that was fast. What'd you do? I just killed the motherfucker and took it. I don't need your shit. Let's see what she says to that. You again. I have this medallion. So, one of the others accepted you, even after I did not. Hmm, you're lucky, human. For I'm in a forgiving mood. I will take you to the Academy. And we shall see if you are ready to join the ranks of the Sith. I have only one other question. These companions of yours, they will not be coming with you, I presume. 
They are slaves. Don't worry about them. My hearing's not so good. I'm just pleased my nice master doesn't beat me so much anymore. Yes, sir. There's something odd about this servant of yours. No matter. Make sure they don't disturb your training or cause trouble. You are responsible for them. Now, are you ready to go to the Academy? Yes, I am. Then let us leave. The master of the Academy awaits you. <laughs> I had to say that. They knew I had to say that. Force points regenerate slowly while your character's fighting, but return quickly after combat. <laughs> uh, hold on. Just stretching. All right. You tattooed face, motherfucker. Talk. Greetings, prospective students. It appears we have a late entry. Who do you bring before me, Uthura? A young human bristling with the force? A human that has had some training, it seems, Master Uthar. Very promising, I think. I met this one in the colony. Unworthy, if you ask me. That I'll judge for myself, thank you. Tell me, human. What do you know of the ways of the Sith? What preconceptions has your mind been polluted with? God. I don't know if I should tell him that. Of course, I'll say this. A diplomatic answer, if not the core of the matter. Our power is obvious. The question in truth goes much deeper than the surface. The Jedi equate the light with goodness and strength, and the dark with weakness and evil. That is their tradition, and it is truly no surprise that they cling to it for comfort. We, however, do not treat the Force as a burden. We treat it as a gift, a thing to be celebrated. We use it to acquire power over others. And why should we not? Because the Jedi, I say, we should not. We are as the Force is meant to be. The Jedi would hide that from you. They would tell you the dark side is too quick, too easy. All so that they need never challenge the passions that lie within them. Joining with us means realizing your true potential. It means not stifling yourself solely for the sake of hidebound shamans and their antiquated notion of order. Be what you were meant to be. What say you, Lasho? Are you ready to learn the secrets of the dark side? Dare you? I dare, Master Uthar. I am ready. Brash and fiery, as expected. Turn that passion to your advantage, child. What of you, Meikle? Are you ready? I am, Master. More than ready. I sense much anger within you, young one. That is good. That will provide you power. And Shardan, what of you? I am always ready. I see. You had best gather your wits for the trial ahead, boy, or you will not last. He doesn't seem and ready. And you, young human, does this interest you? Are you ready to learn more of what I speak? I'm ready to learn more. Are you? I can see into your heart, young human, and I see the dark kernel that is there. If it is ready to sprout, remains to be seen. Now then, all of you five recruits have shown a degree of facility with the Force. You all have the potential to become true Sith. Only one of you, however, will succeed. The one who succeeds will be admitted to the Academy as a full Sith. All others must wait until next year and try again. If you survive, my pupil, Euthura, shall be your teacher and master while you attempt to prove yourselves. Heed her words. As Master Uthar said, none of you are true Sith yet. For that to occur, one of you must do enough of worth, gain 